Hello there, I'm James from Bastard Cafe and this weekend is a big weekend for gaming in Copenhagen. So with that in mind I just wanted to make a quick video to tell you about all the cool stuff that's going on. So on the Friday we have Culture Night, uh, which is, sees all the businesses and venues in Copenhagen open up later than normal. And Husset here is no exception. Uh, for Husset it's going to be turned into a giant gaming uh, festival, we're celebrating the love of gaming and gaming culture. So whether you love analog or digital games, there'll be something here for you. So this video, I'm just going to be giving you a quick overview, overview like I said. But if you want information, you can get it all on the whosit.dk website, which I'll post a link to below. So on the Friday, uh, the festival is going to kick off with a treasure hunt start, uh, at 6pm, starting in Bastard Cafe, which will see young people and young spirited people exploring Hooset in the search for treasure. Uh, then upstairs we're going to also have the chance to uh, design your own board game so if you ever thought about designing your own game or maybe you've got an idea but you don't really know how to turn it into something um, there's going to be a little area with a build your own board game um, in association with Pat Power uh, where there'll be a load of um, spare parts from Master Cafe and some people on hand to help you create the next awesome idea then there will also be um, the chance to go upstairs and play um, some prototypes from established and up and coming game designers. You'll get to take part in the creative development process and try some exciting new games and give you, you know, it'll give you a chance to provide some feedback on uh, these games as well. There will also be an award show, it's the, uh, the Goldbricken annual award show well, which sees, uh, which will be going out for 10 years and in that there's going to be uh, Awards for family games, serious games, all different, you know, all different genres. Uh, yeah, and then alongside all this on the Friday, we also have some documentaries, some uh, discussions, some nerdy comedy. Um, we're going to be showcasing some classic games like King of Tokyo and Exploding Kittens. There'll also be a Bezzer Visa quiz where you'll get a chance to play and win a prize. And also, best of all, um, for Culture Night and actually for the whole weekend. Um, all our games are going to be free to play, so um, whatever you know, whatever game you see on our shelf, you're free to play it all weekend for as long as you want. So hope you enjoy that and find some new exciting titles to play. And that's just a Friday, so for Culture Night. So then uh, on a Saturday, then there's going to be a massive uh, nerd market upstairs uh, between ten and four, full of all kinds of weird and wonderful gaming and toy-related stuff uh, for you to buy. There'll also be a giant chess going on in the cafe, so we're going to have life ties. You get to be a life-size chess piece, um, which should be fun. And then Goldbricken will be presenting some of the uh, year's winners and nominees from the Family Game Award. So you'll get a chance to play some games like Fantastic Park, Magic Maze and Circus Stop. Then we're also going to have, uh, from 2pm, there's going to be the... Uh, something called 50 Clues, The Ritual. And it's a guessing game where the players are to solve a murder case and the riddle is solved by deciphering codes and combining clues that will take you to the bottom of the case. Uh, all the while the clock will be ticking. Then in the afternoon the award-winning designer Casper Lapp, uh, the creator of the real-time co-op game Magic Maze, which is a favourite here in the cafe, will be showcasing his new game Xcode. Uh, in Xcode, you're a code breaker that's fighting against an organisation of hackers, and the vibe of the game is something like an escape room, except that the game can be played numerous times and will gradually unlock new challenges. Uh, and then towards the end of the day, Goldbricken will be presenting some of the awards uh, winners from the adult games category. So uh, I think this photosynthesis is going to be there, and which should be super exciting. And then at the same time, during all this, there's also a pandemic survival competition, Ghost in a Shell anime all day, Clask, and some awesome looking virtual reality experiences. So definitely loads going on. And I'm finishing it all on the Sunday. Well, actually really exciting to announce that for the first time, there's going to be a Bastard Cafe is going to be doing a Sunday brunch. Um, in collaboration with Evo Street Kitchen, which is upstairs, we're going to serve you some tasty brunch. Um, all, then you can play some board games at the same time. So that should be pretty exciting. Uh, there's also going to be an after nerd market. So after the nerd market on the Saturday, there'll be a chance for you guys to kind of buy and sell your stuff. So bring along some games and any other stuff that you have. And you'll get a chance to be able to sell it. Um, the cafe itself, we're going to have a Combo Fighter tournament. Um, so Combo Fighter is a short version of classic games like Street Fighter and Tekken. 
Uh, you'll play one of ten fighters, and you'll have to play cards and bluff and combine your cards to create some seriously epic moves. And throughout all of this, Buster Cafe is also going to be hosting its annual reallocation project. So Buster Cafe makes a raffle for the games submitted through the festival, and games that for some reason have been collecting dust or that they're not getting the play that they used to have, and they'll be recycled for new enthusiasts. So you can sign up for the raffle, you can bring in a bring an old game that you have, contribute it, and then you get a chance to get some new games and yeah, hopefully find something more exciting and new. So yeah, there's loads going on this weekend. So yeah, the Culture Night on the Friday, uh, the uh, and then the Spirit Festival starting on the Friday, and then the Saturday and the Sunday. Uh, like I said, uh, you can find all the information on whoset.dk uh, if you want the times and locations. But yeah, hope to see you at the festival.